The new Barbie movie is about to release. You can see it on the 21st of July, except if you're living in Vietnam or the Philippines. Vietnam has already banned the movie. The Philippines is considering it. The question is why? Why do these countries have a problem with a movie on dolls? The answer is maps. Barbie has one scene which depicts a controversial map. It shows the contested South China Sea as part of China. We've told you about the history of this water body. China claims around 90% of it. But an international court has rubbished their claim. Other countries have laid claim to the South China Sea. Countries like Vietnam, the Philippines and Malaysia. It's a very sensitive issue for these countries. Now, in the last decade, China has increased military patrols in the region. They're also building artificial islands. Simply put, it's a political tinderbox. But Barbie has decided to light a matchstick. Their controversial map has led to a ban in Vietnam, and reports say the Philippines could do the same. And what are the movie producers saying? Well, Barbie is produced by Warner Brothers. So far, they've been silent, like the doll. And banning things we know is a touchy subject. Many say it's actually counterproductive. But in this case, there is a larger story, a story about how Hollywood has surrendered to China. And the reason is quite simple. It's money. In 2020, China became the largest box office in the world. They took over North America. China's total revenue was $3 billion. North America's was $2 billion. And this did not happen overnight. It was a gradual rise that happened over two decades. So Hollywood was in a tight spot. For starters, their budgets kept going up. People are not keen on low-budget movies nowadays. They want to see big stars and big action. But high-budget movies also have a downside. You have to earn a lot more to make enough profits. Meaning, you can't just rely on the North American box office. You must be a blockbuster in China, too. Just one problem, though. Chinese censors are brutal. You can't show anything on Xinjiang or Uyghurs. Nothing on Tibet or Hong Kong. Nothing on homosexuality or LGBTQ either. And Hollywood played along. In fact, I have some, some examples for you. In 2016, the first Doctor Strange movie came out. It was based on the Marvel comics. Now, the comics showed the main character having a Tibetan mentor. But in the movie, it was a Celtic mentor. No prizes for guessing why. The movie made around 20% of its money from China. So job done. Another example is World War Z starring Brad Pitt. It's a zombie movie. The first cut showed China as the source of the outbreak. The last cut doesn't mention a source at all. Red Dawn was released in the year 2012. It shows an invasion into the United States. The shooting was done with Chinese flags. But in post-production, they became North Korean. That's the magic of computers and fear. Iron Man 3 also appeased Chinese censors. The movie's villain was called the Mandarin. He was supposed to be of Chinese ethnic origin. But in the movie, it's played by a white actor. These are not some random movies from obscure production houses. These are the biggest franchisees out there. Fast and Furious is another example. One of their movies cast wrestler John Cena as the villain. During the promotions, he called Taiwan a country. But days later, he issued a public apology, and that too in Mandarin language. I could give you more examples, but you get the point. Fear is driving Hollywood, the fear of losing the Chinese market. And you know what's worse? This is self-imposed censorship. It's normal for countries to demand changes to foreign films. It happens all the time. Even India has sought such changes. But in China's case, the censors don't even have to ask. Most of these changes are made voluntarily by movie houses. It tells you what the equation is. The Americans love to call Hollywood their soft power export. And yes, the industry is unrivaled. But the Hollywood of today is not the Hollywood of the last century. It is not serving American interests. It is serving Chinese interests. Some of you may ask, why is that a problem? After all, is it not about making money? Well, yes, it is. But then you must be consistent. You talk about LGBTQ rights and representation at the Oscars, but in China, you remove all such references. That's what Hollywood is doing now. In 2019, a movie called Bohemian Rhapsody was released. It was Freddie Mercury's biopic. In the Chinese release, there is no mention of his sexuality. How about that for activism? And with Barbie, it's a double blow. Both the doll and the industry are supposed to be American flagships. But one is now made in China, and the other is made for China.